Hello YouTube, this is the Spark here bringing you a tutorial on how to install Windows 7 on your Mac. So, first of all I have to tell you, if you have a, the new MacBook Pro or new MacBook Air, um, like I do, the steps will be a little different from those who got their computers a long time ago. Um, you'll be able to tell right now which one you have. If you if you look through your Mac OS X installation disks and find the Snow Leopards uh, DVD, um, then you, you'll you get to skip a step. Um, if you don't find it and you purchase your computer not too long ago, then you're going to have to install some uh, another program, and I'll, sh I'll be showing both ways. So first of all, requirements. You need an Intel um, Mac. So, um, what else you need? You need a Windows 7 installation disk, and you will need, as I said, a Snow Leopard, um, the Snow Leopard DVD installation disk that came with your computer. If you didn't get one with your computer and yours is new, you're just going to need a blank CD or DVD. Okay, so what you want to do you want to open up Boot Camp Assistant. You can find that in the Utilities folder or just search for it um, on the top right with Spotlight. So what you're going to do, um, it's going to give you this introduction. Um, guys, make sure you back up your data just in case anything goes wrong. Um, so it's going to say Download Support Software. This is where it's going to be different for those of you that have Snow Luck, um, those of you that have the new computers or the ones that are like a year or two old. Y y if you don't have the software, um, you're going to say download the Windows support software for this Mac. Once you do that, well, it took me a while. It took me like tw 20 minutes to download. You want to um, you wanna burn it to a DVD. It'll just say insert DVD now or insert DVD or CD now and then you install it. You're done. That's going to be your Snow Leopard disc. So I already did it. So I'm going to say I have the Mac OS X installation disc that came with my Mac, or I have already downloaded the Windows support software for this Mac to CD, DVD, or external disc. Okay. So now it's going to ask. It's going to. This is going to be the partition part of the comment or tutorial. So this is going to be. Um, how you give when this is going to be when you give Windows the amount of memory you want to give it. So I'm going to be giving Windows 60 gigabytes because I'm probably going to get a few games. So I want to make sure that has um, not too little memory, but not too much either, because I'm mainly going to be working on my on Mac OS X. So I'm going to make sure the slider is at 60 for Windows and then you're gonna click partition so it's gonna say status partitioning disk and it's gonna go through all that uh, by the way if you have an iMac you're gonna wanna have a USB connecting uh, um, mouse and keyboard which just means a wired um, keyboard and mouse because uh, Bluetooth won't work for this installation. Once you actually finish the installation, it'll work fine, but uh, for this part, you're going to need a USB mouse. So I'll be back with you when um, the... Oh, look, it's already done. Okay. So it says, insert your Windows installation disk and click Start Installation. You'll need an authentic installation disk for Windows 7 Home Premium, Professional, or Ultimate. So make sure you have your serial key written down and so here, okay. You wanna ins put in your Windows 7 or Windows XP, whatever, installation disk in right now. And so your computer um, should restart. So I'll be back with you guys on a camcorder. Because I will not be able to record straight from the computer. Okay, bye. Hey guys, I'm back and I am on my camcorder right now. 
So I have just put in my Windows 7 installation disk and now I'm going to follow the instructions and hit start installation. Okay, so my computer is going to restart and it's going to reboot into the Windows installation process. Okay, so just saying right now it just says Windows is loading files. So it's starting up the disk and putting on some of the files to boot onto Windows 7 on a Mac. By the way guys, if you think this is hard, it's actually fairly easy. Um, it just looks complicated, but in reality all you do is follow the instructions on Boot Camp because Boot Camp makes it super easy, and then the Windows instructions, and you'll be fine. Just It's just basically asking like, um, what hard drive do you want to install it on, which I'm going to explain in a second. And then just put in your username and password, all that. Just like installing Windows 7 on a normal computer. By the way, guys, sorry for the bad quality on this um, on this recorder. I'm going to try to adjust it so you can see the whole screen. I'm trying to balance it on a book right now, so sorry about that. Let me try to pull it back a little bit. Oh, that's not good. Um, there we go. Okay, so now it should start up the Windows, the Windows 7 installation process. By the way, guys, don't worry if it's taking a long time. Um, on your computer because it takes a long time on everyone's so now it's finally going on to the Windows 7 installation process okay so I'm gonna be installing Windows 7 Ultimate it should be the same though if you're doing a different version of Windows 7 so language to install, time and currency format, keyboard or input method these should be all things you um, that you know, uh, you're just going to click install now. So it just says setup is starting. Okay, so this is just like the agreement. Uh, you just say I accept the license terms, click next. Um, so it gives you two installation methods. Um, one is upgrade. So it says upgrade to a newer version of Windows and keep your file settings and programs. The option to upgrade is only available when an existing version of Windows is running. So if you guys are upgrading your um, Windows, say you had XP and you want to install Windows 7 and you want to keep the files so you don't have to get everything from the Windows XP to the Windows 7, you can just do upgrade. I'm going to do custom because I do not have Windows on this computer yet. So what you're going to do, um, you it's going to ask you where do you want to install Windows, uh, what hard drive, what, what part of the hard drive. I'm going to click um, disk 0 partition 3 and you'll notice it says boot camp and that's how you know which um, which hard drive you want to select. Okay, so it says Windows cannot be installed to disk 0 partition 3 show details. So it says it must be installed to a formatted NTFS uh, file. So what you want to do is drive options and you want to click format. So the partition might contain recovery files. It's going to say all this. You say okay. 
So it's going to format it so you can install Windows on it. Okay, it's formatted. Uh, you click Next. And so it's just going to copy all the files and it's going to install Windows. Your computer is going to uh, restart a couple times during this process and I'll be back with you guys when the installation is done. Hi guys, the installation has finished and now my computer is rebooting for I believe the second time and it sh it's gonna take me to the setup where I will I should be just choosing my username, password, setting up connections, it'll ask me if I want to update, and so on. It took me quite a while actually, about an hour. Okay, type a username. So, let me connect my USB keyboard. Okay, so I'm going to type my username, I'm just going to put in my name, which is Kip, okay. just put in my username, uh, I'm going to type a password. And I'm just adding in a hint. Uh, the product key. Uh, yeah, automatically activate Windows when I'm online. Uh, I'm going to pause this because I don't want anyone to see my product key. Okay, guys, I just put in my product key. And now it says, um, How help protect your computer and improve Windows automatically. Um... I'll just say ask later. Actually, I'll just use recommended settings. Um, yeah, that's the time I want. It's the right time. Just click next. It's saying Windows is finalizing your settings. Oh, uh, looks like terminal just popped up. I'll just put that down there until I might actually need it. Okay, guys, I'll, um, I'll start recording again when something else happens. Okay guys, I'm booting Windows 7 for the first time. To do that, when you turn on, when you hit the power button, um, and it's on that white screen, you have to hit the option key, option slash alt key, and it will give you the option of selecting to boot into your Macintosh or your Windows uh portion of the hard drive, or partition. So all you have to do is choose your Windows partition, and the first time it's going to be a little slower. And here we are guys, I have successfully installed Windows 7 on my Mac. So let's see, um, what now? Now you have to install the drivers. So to do that, you have to actually do quite a difficult task now. Um, you have to put, well not difficult, but annoying. You have to put in your drivers DVD I was talking about in the beginning of the video. And since the drivers aren't installed yet, you can't use the eject button while you're on Windows. So you have to shut down 